In this lesson, we're going to talk about graphing and writing equations of parabolas. And we're going to talk about graphing and writing equations of parabolas with the vertex at the origin. There will be another video when we talk about parabolas that are translated off of the origin. But for this one, we're going to talk about parabolas with a vertex at the origin. So we're going to look at four different directions of the parabola. And you'll notice that in the equation for a parabola, we have one variable that is not squared and one variable that is squared. So in this case, we have y is equal to x squared. This particular parabola faces up. And this is the typical parabola that most of you are familiar with. And y is equal to negative x squared, the parabola now faces down. So y still has the exponent of 1, x has the exponent of 2, but now it's a negative x value, so the parabola is flipped upside down. I like to call this the unhappy parabola, and this one, the happy parabola. Unhappy parabola has a negative value in front of the x. The happy value, or happy parabola, has a positive value in front of the x. In this case, now we switch the exponent. So the exponent for x is going to be 1, and for y it's going to be 2. And now the parabola opens to the right. And you can guess that in the case of x is equal to negative y squared, now the parabola opens to the left. So you can see that for whatever value of y we give, the x value is always going to be negative. In this case, for whatever value of uh, y that we put in, the x value is always going to be positive. In this case, whatever value for x that we put in, y is going to be negative. And in the first case that we looked at, for whatever value of x that we put in, y is going to be positive. All right, so let's talk about some of the components of a parabola. First is what's called the axis of symmetry. And the axis of symmetry is the line that bisects the parabola into two separate halves. So in this case, with a vertex at the origin, I have a parabola that's bisected into two halves, one that's on this side and the other on this side. And the line that bisects that parabola is going to be called the axis of symmetry. In this case, the equation for the line that bisects the parabola is x is equal to 0. Next thing we want to talk about is the equation of the axis of symmetry for an equation where x has the exponent of 1 and y has the exponent of 2. In that case, the axis of symmetry still, by definition, bisects the parabola. But instead of being x is equal to 0, in this case, it's y is equal to 0. So the axis of symmetry will change based on the orientation of the parabola. Uh, in some cases, it will be a vertical axis of symmetry, and in some cases, it will be a horizontal axis of symmetry. It depends on the equation. There are two other components that we want to talk about with a parabola. The first is called the focus, and the second is called the directrix. Now, the focus is a point on the axis of symmetry, so it's always important to be able to find the axis of symmetry and its equation. And the second is a directrix, and the directrix is a line that runs perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. So let's talk about what those mean. But first, let's just explain that we're going to move from an equation of a parabola as y is equal to x squared to a formula that says 4py is equal to x squared. So what does the p have to do with the equation for a parabola? Well, p is going to be the distance along the axis of symmetry into the parabola from the vertex. And that's going to be the focus. So in this case, my focus, the point of the focus, is going to be 0, comma p, or p units along the axis of symmetry inside of the parabola. The directrix is just going to be p units from the vertex in the opposite direction. So now I have p units in this positive direction, because the focus is p, and in this particular parabola, y is equal to x squared, I'm going to have a point 0p. And my directrix is going to run perpendicular to my axis of symmetry. And that line, the equation of the line, will be y is equal to negative p. So why do we even talk about the focus and the directrix? Well, really, the parabola ends up just being a set of points 
that is equidistant from both the directrix and the focus. So if I were, this is not drawn perfectly, but if I were to create a parabola, it would have the distance from the directrix to a point on the parabola, and from that same point, the focus would be exactly the same. So the directrix and the focus give us that coordination that defines the parabola, and that's why they're important. So let's talk about using the formulas for the parabola. So remember, if we have a parabola that opens up or down, the y value or y variable is going to be uh, have a exponent of 1, and the x variable will have an exponent of 2. So here I have my happy parabola and my sad parabola. And I can figure out now what the focus is, assuming, again, that the vertex is at the origin, because the focus will be 0, p. Okay, and my directrix will just be y is equal to negative p. So let's see if we can use that in an example. If I have a, uh, an equation 12y is equal to x squared, and I want to put it into the form 4py is equal to x squared because I want to find out the value for p. I find out the value for p is 3, so I put it into my equation. My location for my focus is 0, 3, and my directrix becomes y is equal to negative 3. In a similar fashion, if I have a parabola that opens right or left, I know my x value variable has the singular or the uh, exponent of 1, and the y variable has the exponent of 2. My focus now becomes, instead of 0p, it becomes p0. And my directrix, instead of y is equal to p, y is equal to negative p, it becomes x is equal, x is equal to negative p. So let's take an example here. I have 16x is equal to negative y squared. I find the uh, focus and the directrix by taking a look at my formula here, 4px is equal to y squared. I figure out that my p value is going to be negative 4 because negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. And this is really an equation that says negative 16x is equal to y squared. So my, po my focus is going to be at negative 4, 0. And you can see my parabola is going to open up and to the left. From the vertex, this point makes sense uh, as we graph my parabola opening to the left. My focus is here. My directrix on the opposite side. And my value for the directrix or equation will be x is equal to 4.